It's so remarkable to be with you here today and to see you all here. And again, congratulations. Roberta Bobby Cardano is the president of Gallaudet University. It's a premier learning institution in Washington, D.C. for deaf and signing communities. But that status has not come easily. When I was 13 years old, I really decided I wanted to become an attorney. And back at that time, there were many law schools that didn't accept a Gallaudet graduate. Not because the Gallaudet didn't prepare students well for the field of law, but simply because they didn't believe that deaf people could be lawyers back then. Well, I took the path least traveled, you might say, and went to a hearing college. I went to Beloit College. Schools were the place I went to learn what I had to learn to know. I had to learn how to kind of survive socially in the hearing world, and that experience was often a lonely one. It was hard. I didn't have interpreters, I didn't have note takers, I didn't have any kinds of accessibility accommodations. I was basically left to myself. But those hard lessons prepared Bobby for a role very few people could fill, to be a bridge between communities. So I feel as though we try to construct a world that says deaf and hard of hearing children have to try and fit into that world, as opposed to designing an environment where deaf and hard of hearing children are the center of the experience. And you have done it under extraordinary circumstances. She suggests a change in perspective. For example, rather than focusing on hearing loss, consider deaf gain. Deaf gain is built on the idea that we are more than just people who experience hearing loss or live with hearing loss where the sole focus is on our ability to hear or not. We have gains that we have from our experience of being deaf. And let me give you an example. If you go into a bar, you see captioned televisions, and if you're able to hear, but you can't hear because you're in a noisy environment, you can rely on those captions. Those captions came because of deaf people. In fact, the world of sports has deaf people to thank for a now ubiquitous strategy. We actually are the home of the football huddle and we created that because that way we could gather together and see the signs of the players and other players couldn't look in to see what we were communicating with one another. So we actually have now the huddle that allows for the cameras to be unable to see what people are saying and lip read what they're saying nowadays when it comes to that. So we created this as deaf people. You have persevered and you have made it through. Representation matters because when young people see a deaf woman leading Gallaudet University, especially if it's a young deaf child, they look to something and realize it's also possible for them. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.